Sister Katie Deal. Hey. hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, it's got a fun opportunity for me. So, tell us a little bit about um, the event tonight. Uh, well, this is my first time at Calumwald, so it was all new to me. But uh, it was an opportunity for me to sing with the smaller Atlanta Pops Orchestra. They have a condensed version, and that's what we did tonight. So I got to sing some new songs and uh, sing with a group that was a lot smaller than what I'm used to singing. Yeah. Great. Well, it sounded great. Hey. So, tell us a little bit about the work that you typically do. Typically, I do large stage shows, which are on in the vein of tribute shows, um, but not impersonations. More, more of a, a theatrical concert, uh, a nostalgic view of country music. And so, I typically sing classic country music and, uh, and performing arts center. So, this was a totally different, more more chill vibe than. I'm well, it sounded great. So, uh, are you interested in doing more of this kind of work? Yeah, I, I definitely would love to do more of this. And now, hearing Joe Grandstone's band, the swing band in the back, his big band, it's so good. And I, I don't get the opportunity to sing that kind of music very often. So. Okay. Well, we may have to work on that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everything I do is a little country, so <laughs> tonight was, was standards, but a little country. <laughs> and I had a great opportunity to sing with John Hopkins tonight. We're sisters, obviously, I just said that. Um, but I get to take credit for discovering this artist. So you're my first artist that I ever discovered. Um, I was in college. Does that mean I owe you permission now? You do, on everything you do. <laughs> and I need it right now. Um, yeah, I was in college. Um, I remember this. And uh, you were in third grade. And... Um, uh, we were in my room, yep. listening to the radio. On the pink alarm clock radio. Oh, I forgot about oh, the I pink alarm that. clock radio. Pepto <laughs> Bismol pink. Oh yeah, I like pink. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we on the radio came on the song, Oh Whiskey, If You Were a Woman. And she starts belting it out. And it stopped me dead in my tracks. And I was like... Say it in the accent that you said it with. I don't even remember. You're going to be a star. Because <laughs> she was. She was going to be a star. And that was where I lost my accent. So um, that was how I talked. <laughs> we were both a little bit of country. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I remember Mama always made me sing I Was Country When Country Went Cool for mm -hmm. every event for my entire childhood. Yep. Um, and uh, I just sang it the other day and talked about my mom. <laughs> yep. Well, I remember you doing it, your first 4-H performance. All because, H all because performance. Of you in 4-H. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I... Uh. You were good at other things, but I was, the only thing I was good at was singing, so I ended up singing country yeah. music in 4-H, and I should have known then. Yeah. But I was well, I came home with a tape of me singing. <laughs> I was country, and country wasn't cool, and I don't even want to listen to that, because I'm not a singer. Um, but it got you started on singing it, so it did some, it had some purpose. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but I remember so, you doing I'll, that. I'll, I'll write all those back commission checks. <laughs> okay. Get out of here. Well, I still remember you and then your plaid shirt and your cowboy boots and your little blonde pigtails. I was country. 
<laughs> yeah, you were strutting on the stage. It was great. Yeah, I kind of did some of that tonight. Yeah, yeah, you've never yeah. stopped strutting. <laughs> You just stopped wearing pigtails. Yeah, well, <laughs> so you could come back. Could. Maybe shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah.